um, yeah, I've had this experience a couple of times where I feel like I've I've dropped in to the point, like I can really feel the sense of just, I guess the image I was that was coming to mind after, you know, when I've kind of dropped back out, I don't know what the language is, but it was like a, of that of a music box that just like the crank that just the the absolutely like no beginning, no end, no corners, no nothing. And the kind of yeah, the 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 real visceral panic around that. I have felt that sense of panic and the sense that I've needed to like grab on to like a little just thread like of something to get back. I mean, it's like so far that like this the feels like this. And a couple of times, I mean, I I, I would say this experience has happened, you know, a half dozen times. Um like there's like an image that'll pop into my head of <laughs> Thich Nhat Hanh, who's not my teacher, but I just, I, you know, whatever reason, you know, have felt a sense of him embodying just peace and love. And so I felt like this need to kind of grab on to that, to get me back yes. from the brink of just like panic. And so I just wanted to, you know, know what, you know, what comes up sometimes is like that, old adage if you meet the Buddha on the road kill him but that hasn't felt like what I wanted to do like that hasn't been the feeling it's felt this it's like been this felt sense of yeah of just like that feels very right or good or like like it feels like that thread is there for me so I just wanted to share that and see what support or reactions you might have yes Yes. Okay. So let's say it swallows you whole and there's no way back. Mm -hmm. Talk to me from here. I don't think I've let that happen. You know, I, yet. I know, I know, but let's talk about if that's actually your greatest growth spurt. I'm not sure yet mm -hmm. whether this is something you need to get away from or whether there's something you need to go towards. I'm not sure yet but I need you to build more of a picture of what it feels viscerally and what your mind says will happen if you don't have a thread and you fall into that zone. Terror. Okay. Terror. That's, because, the, that's the feeling. It's the yeah. feeling of nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing to hold on to. Yes. And it feels lost. Like it feels like... The, the the abyss which you know on the intellectual level it's just it's the feeling of it like when I'm in there it's like it just there is a safety of finding my way back and I can't tell if it's like a navigation device to get back or you know like I can't tell what it is exactly like if it's like me holding on you know, that last like holding on, or is it my way that I'm, you know, or is it actually, and I don't know, that's why tick not Hans on there. There's this connection to the energy of love. Like that's what I guess I can't. I'm going to encourage you to go into the tower, Jennifer. Yeah. 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 It, it has too much power over you the threat of terror and at the moment it's the threat of it and you know you're at the door of it and it's like whoa 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 where's my where's my my thread out of here that I'll follow um and yeah you're gonna have to I I, I did that one myself but I was on plant medicine I was on ayahuasca or some I was at a ceremony I can't remember what medicine it was but I was at it um it's horrendous And when you're out the other side, the experience is that you're reborn somehow. Mm -hmm. And there is a knowing that no matter what experience comes to you, you it's an experience and it will pass. And you are so much not the experience. Mm -hmm. 
that's the learning that comes from going through it. The absolute recognition that no experience can touch the essence of what you are. Mm. Mm -hmm. And to know the difference between experience and your essence. Because I know for me, yeah, for sure. Like yeah, that has, and it does not feel attached to a personal story. Yeah. It does not. It feels much more existential. Oh yeah, it's existential. Oh yeah, it's not a personal story. No, no, it's not. But but you, th th there is a lack of clarity around how much potency does an experience have actually. Mm. So you need to say yes to the experience so that it, it plays its strongest cards on you. Mm -hmm. And for you to, through the lived experience, come out the other side and, okay, okay, now I know the essence of, of terror, of nothing, of void, and I'm swallowed up, and I have nothing to cling to. Mm -hmm. what, what happened to me, and the medicine helped, was that all the threads broke. They broke in my hand. I'm, I'm like grabbing a thread, and it's like... <gasps> It's, 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 it's a cobweb. It's a cobweb. I can't this, this, oh no, the, the cross or Jesus or some frigging like anything. Oh, anything. That's exactly what I'm feeling. Exactly. exactly. Like, come on, come on, pull me out. Come on, pull me out. And it's like my hand went, you know, just everything just broke up. So, and I'm grateful for it because it brought me into that hell is, is all I can say. It's hell. Yeah. Like, that's exactly what I've been feeling. Exactly. Yeah. It's hell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But let it have you. Okay. Let it have you. Yeah. You know, because then my conscious mind is like, it's just an experience. Like it's been saying that. Sure. And that, but then I also have been, you know, feeling like, is that also an avoidance? Because, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, me, well, that's just another experience. Yeah. So. Yeah, you see, the, the existential realm of experiencing, your mind can't go there. Okay, this is this is this piece is for everybody. Like, this is a learning that everybody who awakens has to fall on. What do I know in my body mind mechanism? And what in my essence do I know me is pure consciousness? What is known there? So existential terror, your, our minds can't access it at all. It has ideas about it. And sure, we know terror from, you know, maybe if we've been exposed to horrendous things in our life, we can have varying degrees of, of fear and go into terror. But existential terror is an entirely different thing. And that exists with or without your body-mind mechanism. Your soul would have to go through with this even if the Jennifer body died. Your soul has to go through this because this is a process of pure consciousness. Mm -hmm. This is the frequency of, of consciousness. Consciousness creates certain concepts and then our brain creates certain ones. Mm -hmm. So the idea of existence, the, the non-dual, our brain doesn't set that up. That's there. They, they are concepts set up by pure consciousness. And to go prior to consciousness, you've got to know the realm of concepts that are manifested out of consciousness itself. Mm -hmm. So existential stuff belongs in here. Yeah. So your mind can set up every excuse and every narrative and every understanding, but it actually is completely in over its head. Mm -hmm. This is your essence. This is the soul stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a whole different playground. Mm -hmm. Go there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>